Hey guys, that monkey bear back here for another video. In this video, I will be looking at the best halfbacks for any budget. This will be from people who have no coins to people who have a lot of coins and can spend whatever they want on halfbacks. First thing we're going to start off is going to be speed halfbacks. As you can see, on both sides of your screen, we have under 1k and under 3k. Latavius Murray is going to give you 89 speed. He's also going to be able to give you 90 acceleration with 85 trucking and some ability to be able to move maneuver downfield. While Tevin Coleman is going to give you 91 speed with 90 acceleration and same thing with trucking. Both of these halfbacks are going to be able to outrun people and get down the field. So now, let's go on to the higher budget part. Just like we did with the lower uh, price halfbacks, now we will be looking at the higher price halfbacks. These are people who can spend a lot more coins on the halfback position. So under 50k we have Ezekiel Elliott and under 100k we have DeMarco Murray. Zeke is going to give you 90 speed with 89 acceleration, 90 agility. And then, of course, 91 ball carrier vision, while DeMarco is going to give you 89 speed with 91 acceleration and 88 agility. Now, let's look at the next category, which is going to be balanced halfbacks. My bad, guys. I did mess up. This is not the catching halfbacks. This is the balanced halfbacks, and Jordan Howard and Doug Martin are going to be our two options for the balanced halfbacks. The reason why they're balanced is because they have 87 speed, 86 speed, for Doug Martin, but they both have the ability to truck very efficiently. And with the ability to truck, that means third down and ones, fourth down and ones, they're going to be able to truck forward for first down and be able to move the chains. Not only are they able to do that, they also are able to provide you with a decent amount of speed to be able to get down the field. Not only are they going to do both of those things, they're also going to give you the ability to be able to catch the ball. As you can see, they are 68 catching and 64 catching, which is for, sorry, for halfbacks is pretty nice. So that's the main thing you want to look at is they're both good at catching the ball. They both have good speed and they both can truck. So they're very good balanced halfbacks for a low, low price. Let's now go for the higher end price, guys. Now, once again, as I said, this is going to be the balance halfbacks for the higher price people, which considerably is going to be called a power back. That I did mess up and say, I said balance because they all balance a lot of categories, but the main purpose are going to be be the power backs, you know, the fourth and ones, the third and ones to bust forward and get the first downs. So as you can see on the screen, we have the higher end cards, which are going to be uh, Derrick Henry and Thomas Rawls. Derrick Henry goes for 25k or less, and then Thomas Rawls goes for 50k or less. Um, Derrick Henry is going to give you a 88 uh, speed. He's going to give you a 91 acceleration, a 92 trucking, a 91 ball carry vision, and a 90 stiff arm. Thomas Rawls is going to give you a 91 trucking, 91 ball carry vision, with a 84 stiff arm and 89 speed. Both of them does. Both of them come with some pretty good catching at 60 and 68. Now our last category will be our catching category. So the best catching halfbacks. Now we're going to be looking at catching halfbacks. These are two cheap options, both under 1K coins. We have Theo Widrick and we have Danny Woodhead. Theo Wid oh, Riddick is going to have 75 catching and 84 speed. So he just has enough speed to be able to move around the field. But he also has a pretty good catching rating at 75. Same thing with Danny Woodhead with 86 speed and said. And same 75 catching rating which means they're going to catch the ball. And most likely 9 out of 10 times not drop the ball. Now let's look at the higher end players. Now looking at the higher end players we do have Reggie Bush and Emmett Smith. Now, Emma Smith is 100, under 100K, and Reggie Bush is under 50K. Now, both of these halfbacks are going to do, you know, an excellent job of being able to catch the ball and get downfield. Unlike the lower op cost options, these actually have some really good, ni oh, some really nice speeds at 89 speed and 87 speed. But both come in with a great catching rating at 75 and 71. Um, obviously these halfbacks because they're higher options they cost more they're going to give you you know some more attributes other than just being a catching back for example Evan Smith is going to be an amazing trucking back Reggie Bush is going to be an amazing speed back 
But the main purpose of what I'm looking at it today, guys, is going to be the fact that they can catch the ball and make amazing catches. So that's pretty much it for my budget squad. Um, my budget players for halfback. Um, my next one I'll be looking at is going to be wide receiver, then tight end, and then so on and so on. So definitely stay tuned for the channel to see more of these episodes. Peace out, guys.